Hear me out. How about New Year, same you? I'm sick and tired of this message that we get every single year at the end of the year that says, this new year is going to be amazing because you know what? You're going to be a completely different person. What that means is you are leaving yourself behind. What that means is that you are ashamed of the person that you are now. And you're saying that magically when it's midnight. It's a new opportunity for you to just be a completely different person. Well, what happens to the person that you are now? What happens to the person that you were all those years? Are you just going to neglect them and abandon them like everybody else did in your life? Or are you going to say, I love you for who you are. And I know how hard it's been up to this point. Can we work on certain things? Absolutely, we can. Can we have goals? Absolutely, we can. Can we change our life to whatever it is that we want it to look like? Absolutely, we can. But not by standing on top of the person that we were up to this point. Not by stomping on the person that we were up to now. Not by saying, I don't even know who that is. Because you're abandoning yourself by doing that. There is nothing more beautiful than you accepting every single part of you. Every single part. Even the parts that you've been ashamed of for so long. Even the parts that those around you have tried so hard to tell you are wrong about you. There's nothing more beautiful than embracing the wholeness of who you are. You are a compilation of every single version of you that has existed up to this point. So for you to say, I'm going to be a brand new person. I'm leaving all of that behind. It's like leaving 95% of you behind. And you truly don't leave that part of you behind or those parts of you behind or those versions of you behind. What you're doing is you're running away from them. What happens when you're running away from something? It keeps chasing you. Even if it's not chasing you, you're running. You're exhausted. That's why you meet people who seem to be at a place in their life where they're not willing to put up with anything but it's not necessarily because they are in a state of self-acceptance and awareness and they know who they are and what they want in their life. It's usually because they are sitting on top of a mountain of unresolved pains and traumas and versions of themselves that they left behind because they were so ashamed of them and parts of them that they left behind because they were so ashamed of them. That's when you get people who are emotionally unavailable because for them to actually meet you where you need them to meet you, they need to meet themselves where they need to meet themselves. And to do that, they need to actually deal with that mountain of pent up traumas and pains and unresolved experiences where there was no closure for them or for other people. So for them to meet you where you are, they need to get through that whole pile of past stuff. And that's why they can't handle it. So don't do that to yourself. Don't abandon or, you know, push to exile the parts of you, the versions of you that need you to hold their hand and say, you are part of me, and I honor you, and I honor everything that you taught me up to this point in my life, because I wouldn't be who I am without you. Walk with pride into the new year, and I know we already walked into the new year, but walk with pride, not the negative kind of pride, but just pride in who you are, in everything that you've overcome. 
In fact, what I would love for you to do is think back to the version of you because we all have that one memory that we'll go back to of a person we used to be that we are so, you know, we just don't want to think about being that person. We just want to push them away. Think back to that person. Or you're always like, I can't believe I was that. I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I said that. Or used to be a person who would do or say that. Think back to that person, okay? Close your eyes. And imagine that you are walking up to that version of you. And now imagine, instead of pushing them away, Instead of walking past them, instead of pretending like they're not there, instead of saying all the things that would make them feel ashamed and you feel ashamed, give them a hug and say, I know that who you were all those times that I think back to when I feel ashamed of you truly was the best you thought given all the resources you had that you could be and i'm proud of you for getting through that time and i'm proud of you for actually protecting me in ways that i wasn't aware of because really all you were trying to do was keep me away from a certain pain that i didn't think i could handle but now we know we can handle it Say to that person, I love you and I don't judge you. And I hope that moving forward, you can trust me in leading us to the other side. Now open your eyes. You see what happens when you make peace with past versions of you? You don't feel that lack of alignment in who you are. You know that state, I'm sure you can relate to this, where you just feel like you're on edge, like you can't rest, can't fall asleep at night quickly because there is a state of you're always on some kind of alert. There's always something that's telling you, oh, what's the bad next bad thing that's going to happen? Or, or something needs to be different in my life. That state of not feeling like you're at full peace with yourself and with who you are. That's because you leave past versions of you behind. And what they're doing is they're knocking at your door, telling you, hear me, see me, accept me, understand me, love me, care for me. Give me some compassion. Give me the compassion that you so easily give to other people. I, of all people in your life, deserve it. So if you want to live in a state of alignment where you're not waiting for the next event that's going to change your life or transform your life, you're not waiting for New Year's, you're not waiting for your birthday, you're not waiting for a relationship to happen or to end or whatever to completely change your life, to live in that state, you need to look at yourself with every single part of you and say, I accept and love every single part of me. That's not easy to do. I'll make more videos on that. But for now, make one promise to yourself. I promise to stop neglecting the parts of me that need me to be present. Say that, repeat it, write it somewhere. I will stop neglecting the parts of me that need me to be present with them. I hope this helps.